What's up, y'all? I was uh, just got done watching this uh, this program, and they were discussing the uh, Black Death or the plague that uh, devastated Europe in the 1340s, the late 1340s, and it it basically devastated. It killed over, I think it's around over 75 million people in a 10 year span. And they said that was the most devastating plague in the history of mankind. And uh, yeah, it, it practically wiped out uh, or eliminated 50% of Europe's population, like I said, in a 10 year period, the Black Death. Uh, my thing is, I believe that world governments are basically working on they're working on plagues right now. There are even more devastating plagues right now that they've already created uh, in laboratories and they uh, systematically are uh, injecting or uh, uh, targeting uh, innocent folks all across the world uh, to basically to bring up, uh, to speed up the uh, population control uh, process. And I do believe Many of their these subjects are unwitting or un, unknowing uh, individuals, or or uh, non-white people. Uh, you can see it's going on in like African and many other non-white nations. Uh, you know, and some some white folks they get caught up, you know, in in a, in the uh, crosshairs too. You know, it gets it gets considered to be uh, collateral damage. You know, there will be white folks that will be affected who also will, that also dies also as a result of these man made man made uh, plagues or viruses that they create in the laboratories. But their uh, number one target uh, are non white people. So, uh, but like I say, white folks. There are some white people that will that have died and will die uh uh and they uh in the process of implementing or uh, uh spreading these these viruses throughout the world so it is what it is uh my thing is if 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 the black plague let's say that the black plague or the black death plague killed more if it did kill over if it killed like seventy five percent of Europe's population, what slavery would have would slavery have happened? You know? If it killed seventy five percent of the Europe Europe's population, do you think uh slavery or the uh exploitation, the raping of Africa and the theft of African peoples and African research you think that would have happened? You think the Europeans would have been able to uh been able you think they would have had the, the, the strength or the the know how to do that, you know? Uh, who knows? Who knows? You know. But more people have died. More black people have died. More than seventy-five million black folks have died since slavery, and, and since slavery, probably over a hundred million since they, you know, uh, since the sixteen hundreds, fifteen hundreds, or whatnot. So, you know, I, mean, I just wanted to just basically discuss that briefly. You guys take care of a beautiful day. It's raining outside right now, so I'm just kind of just taking it easy. Just kind of doing research, just going through, you know, just kind of uh, just researching, man. You know, uh, a little bit of history and philosophy and politics and, and whatnot, literature. <clears throat> I kind of like doing that, you know, I just kind of just do my research when I have some downtime. And I have some downtime right now. Typically on Mondays, I have a lots of downtime. So that's when I like to just, you know, get into my research and stuff like that. So, but anyway, you guys take care. Be, uh, have a beautiful day. God bless. Power to the people.